All right, and we're back. So we're gonna be doing the wreck ship and some extra bits. So, oh boy, hard to imagine we're already halfway through the game almost. So this is an item we can't get until we get power bombs. So, oh, man, I love, I just love this game if you couldn't tell. It's one of my favorite games and I'm sad that I didn't get to play it sooner as a kid. It's really quite a damn shame. I was deprived, man. I had a fucking Sega. Ugh. Gross. So. Alright, go ahead and do that. You need to have a power bomb to do that, by the way. And, uh, am I correct in saying that there's... Is it a save room over here? It's been so long. I, I don't remember what's over here. Yeah, it's a save room. Okay. Um... But yeah, that's technically all the items over here for now. Um, we can't get every single item in the game right this minute. We need to get um, Gravity Suit and we need to get Space Jump and Spring Ball. But we can't get those already yet, so... Alright. So the Wreck Ship is where we're gonna go next. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're probably like, Seth, you're looking a little, uh, a little skimpy right now on your, uh, items, and you're not wrong. So we could technically break that glass, but I'm not gonna do that. We don't need to do that yet. So, also, now that we have fucking Ice Beam and High Jump, we could technically get Spazer at this point, but we already have it. So, <sighs> Wreck Ship is where a lot of speedruns die. Um, the boss Fantoon is very fucking dangerous. Um, let's actually get an energy refill as well while we're here. Um, might as well. I would normally do this if I was on low energy, by the way. Because I really don't trust this shit at all. So, we're gonna get some more items as well. That's the name of the game, motherfucker. So, that's too close, yeah. I need to have him... We can get up there. I cannot bomb jump to save my fucking life in Metroid. It doesn't matter which game it is. Zero Mission has the tightest, but I am so fucking... No! You gotta be dicking me! Okay, so, um... Anyways... Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Zero Mission has the tightest. That's the only game in the entire series I can actually bomb jump in. Um, any other Metroid game, I can't do it. <laughs> like, I just, I can't. I'm not good at it at all. So, this is where we're gonna get the X-ray scope. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, everywhere I've looked has always said you need to get this for 100% item completion, so I'm just getting it anyways. Uh, we need the grapple beam. You cannot tank this. Those spikes, you can clearly see, do a shitload of damage, so... Don't fuck around, okay? So there's no actual, like, item pickups in here, there's just, uh, the x-ray scope. So this is technically how you're supposed to figure out a lot of the shit in the game. I'll show you how it works, so... Hold down run button, and you can see it shows, like, things that are breakable and whatnot, so... This is technically how you're supposed to do a lot of shit, but, uh... I don't need no x-ray scope. I'm a man. So, oh boy, if you've played uh, Metroid Fusion, these little, like, fucking cylinder things are gonna look like, uh... Ugh, you just, you know what I'm talking about if you've played it. That's all I can say. But yeah, if you've ever played those games, you're like, wow, a lot of these things are very familiar. And that's, oh, you fucker, come on. We're not gonna be dealing with, no, stop. Let me go, goddammit. There we go. Um... We're gonna be doing something similar to what I just did there, way later in the game. Um, and yeah, you can use the, uh, what's it called, to actually kill enemies. The, uh, grapple beam. I almost forget it's even there half the time. And yeah, when you shoot those fireflies, the, uh, environment actually falls apart a bit. So yeah, this enemy right over here, notice he actually has a bias to drop, um, like, that's so you don't get dead game, basically. Um, so now that we have Ice Beam, we can technically get up here, and then 
Now, if you're doing anything, I strongly suggest way later in the game. You know what? Actually, I'm not even going to bring it up. We'll talk about it later. Um, but this fucking room right here, this is where a lot of people get killed if they don't know what they're doing, and I'm guilty of having done it the first time I ever played the game because I was on such low health, didn't know where anything was yet. That is a nasty room. Everything in there is just a fucking pinball machine of fuck. It's awful. So you can actually just shoot down. You don't need to use a power bomb. Hey, I've seen these guys before in the fucking Metroid fusions. Anyways. Um... This... is an awful hellhole of a room. I'm not gonna lie. This is where we get the power bombs. Legitimately, by the way. So you need Ice Beam to technically get power bombs, and then you can actually get Grapple Beam, but fuck that noise, we already got it. So... This is also where we get another missile expansion. This is also subtly telling the player, hey, power bombs can be used to figure out where shit's at, so... Use it, dum-dum. Um, these blobs... Oh my god. These fucking asshole flowers are the worst. They're the most annoying enemy in the entire game. Um, but yeah, you can never actually kill those little blob dudes. They're always unkillable. Even if you have screw attack, even if you've got, like, fucking... Yeah, you just, you just can't kill them. Am I correct in saying this is a save room? Seth's so smart. Look at how smart Seth is. Um... So, we're gonna go ahead and get another item. This one is a little bit cryptic, but if you had the x-ray scope at this point, you'd probably know how to get this. So you need to kill all the enemies in this room to actually advance, so... Just open that up while I'm thinking about it. You need super missile- or sorry, not super missiles, but uh, power bombs. And that's obviously how you'd figure that out. Duh! How else would you figure it out? Well, you could do this. See? That's how you figure it out. There's a lot of shit in this game that makes you think- Oh my god. Yeah, it makes you think, oh my god. Fuck this noise. Um... Oh, I hate this- Everything in this area is just hell. It really is. <laughs> you thought Norfair was hell? No. It's fucking this specific part of, uh, Criteria, or whatever this is technically considered. I think it's Brinstar, technically. But, um... Oh, Jesus Christ. So, we can get a couple of items at this point, if we really wanted to, but... I'm gonna save them for later, because I really don't want to try and get them right now. I'm not killing those crabs either for a very specific reason. So... Oh, I don't think I have speed booster hit yet. There we go. Um... This is a bit of a tough one. So I'm gonna try and get this one early. Not supposed to technically do this early, but we're gonna do it. You know what? Ow, Jesus. Let's go ahead and make Fantoon look like a bitch. So... <clears throat> the ship also gives you everything back, I forgot to mention this. This is normally where I make a safety save, um, but yeah. So let's go ahead and get some goodies early. Let's... Well, there's actually two ways you can do this, but I'm not good at doing it any other way. Okay, so we can get up here. Fucking obviously. The way you'd figure that out, by the way, is by watching the demo screen. I know you're probably like, are you fucking serious? But yes, that's how you'd figure that out. So... The technical way you're supposed to do this is you're supposed to go through here with, um... What's it called? Uh, space jump, and what else? You're supposed to go in here with a lot more shit than I'm doing. So, this was actually, I think, the second place I died in the very first time I played the game, because I didn't... I only knew about this because of uh, Some Call Me Johnny and uh, his LP channel, SGB. So... But I also watched Lobos Jr. do this early, and I was like, oh, that's easy, and then I fucking got killed doing this, even with this E-Tank. So... Oh, this part's hell, by the way. So, go ahead and bomb. Use a power bomb, it'll save you a lot of health. Oh, hell. Let's go ahead and do this. Ugh. Oh, 
God damn it. You need a pretty good grip of power bombs to do this, by the way. But hey, if you do this the uh, intended way, it's a lot easier. So, drop a power bomb. Don't fucking bolt forward. See that? We want to be in the middle of this. There we go. Oh, just fucking barely. Okay. So, if you do this wrong and you stand in the left or the right, oh, you'll actually have to do that twice. Uh, I don't want to do that, <laughs> so we'll do this the way I know best. And, uh, yeah, you can see what I mean. You can't get back up. Those bro blocks will break. So we'll go ahead and use a power bomb. And yeah, you can't get up there unless you use a power bomb, by the way. You know what? While we're down there, let's go ahead and get a couple other goodies. I don't see why not. Wreck ship is pretty short, so... We're gonna go back to uh, Brinstar regular for five minutes. Um, and we'll open that door up now. Um, by the way, if you use a super missile or a power bomb, whatever, the door will revert back to blue. Um, in other Metroid games, you could use power bombs and shit to open doors up, but um, in this game in particular, you you can only use your beam on blue doors, but other games will let you use anything after a while, which I like a lot better. It's a nice quality of life. Okay, so this part is a little tricky, but I should be fine. So that's, I believe, a save room, map room. What the hell is in this room? I actually want to know what's in this room. I don't remember what's in here. I'm gonna look around. I, I hope that doesn't bug somebody, but I want to see what's in here. Is this a recharge room? Oh, that's what I thought. Okay. It's been so long since I've been in this room. Um, there is some people who like to uh, not really speed run it, I guess, but it's a... F oh, by the way, I did a damage boost there. I just... I haven't explained you could do that yet. But, um... You need power bombs to get through this area, by the way. Um, so, if you want, you can always play by weird rules, like uncover every section of the map and stuff. So, this part's tricky, so I should... Normally, I don't go through here with this specific shit. I usually come through here with space jump. It's a lot easier, so... Yeah... This is a very easy fucking nasty jump. Oh, fucking just barely did that. God damn. Um, but yeah, if you go here with space jump, it's a lot easier. Um, I'm just doing it early for sake of uh, completion, I guess. So, and we can also get some super missiles. Oh, that's... Very lucky. I'm glad I didn't have to do that twice, because if you fuck this up, you gotta do it over and over, and I don't want to do that. So, there's also fake floor there is why. So, there's a save room to the left of that. This room is just ass. Ugh. Another reason why I usually don't do this till later, when I'm going through for the last, last bit of items. Come on. There we go. Yeah, you don't want to keep doing this area. It's really annoying. I almost died here the first time I did this. So if you're ever like, so how are you actually supposed to figure out you can wall jump? I'm doing something, by the way. Uh, let's see. Hey Seth, sync the camera up. Yeah, someone made that for me at my old job. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, isn't that fucking sick? Told you guys I love Super Metroid. But, um, yeah, those are... I believe they're called Etacoons? Um, so yeah, they technically teach you how to do that. Um, so yeah, if you've ever seen AGDQ or SGDQ, when they say kill the animals, save the animals, that's what they're referring to. Or runny and jumpy, my favorite. I'm not good at doing this. Oh, damn it. Sometimes I can actually do that. It's tough. Um, 
So yeah, that's a secret you can do. I love that little Christmas gift someone made me. It was fun. Uh, I love Super Mario. Can you tell I really am happy to play this game? So, we're going to go ahead and get another couple of items as well. So, all right. But you know, now that we have that whole super runny, jumpy bullshit, let's just go fast, right? Oh no! I'm not supposed to do that at all! Oh well, can't be that bad. Hey, what's this thing? Better chase it. Oh! He did that. I guess I can do that too. When I say Super Metroid really is one of those games that teaches you in such good ways with its environment, I'm not kidding. It's so fucking good. Like, this game teaches you with no dialogue, and it's all just... Oh, it's so fucking good. So let's go ahead and drop a power bomb. Carefully jump through that, obviously. Um, normally I go through here way later, by the way. This is just for funsies. This is for YouTube's sakes, right? Oh, and oh, I guess I'm not supposed to be in here. Okay. Better super missile this exact patch of floor. <sighs> Duh. And then we get power bomb. Now you're probably thinking, hey, wait a minute, there was that that charge beam thing. You got power bombs now. Go back and do it. No, you don't understand. Um, those don't crush you, by the way. I forgot to mention. Um, you'll just get stuck. Um, and then you'll fall through and it's really annoying. Um, that area we need the gravity suit for. I'm not good at doing the short charge. You see, I just, I say these fucking speedrunning terms because they're so common to me, but to normal people, they're like, what the hell? You can actually do a short charge, yes, with the, uh, speed booster. I'm just not good at doing it. I can't really explain how to do it either, so don't take my word for it, I guess. But yeah, we can open up this area. And, oh no, this is some familiar music. Where have I heard this shit before? Huh, I guess we're in that one place we started. Boom, power bomb. You need power bombs to get in here, by the way. You can't do this without doing this. Um, and then I guess we'll just keep doing that, right? Okay. So, we can actually go through Turian here, which is what this area is called. I think it's technically Turian, even though it's Brinstar, but whatever. So we can... I'm gonna try and get this without having to go back. This is why I'm going in here now. So, go ahead and clear this horse shit out. And if you've played original Metroid, you know that's there! <laughs> Cause you play the original Metroid and you're great. That's why you know, so... Go ahead and super bomb, or sorry, power bomb. If you say super bomb, you're not you're not a real Metroid fan, right? Um, go ahead and shine spark up. You can do a diagonal one. I'm just really bad at doing it. Now we can't get in here, so we're going to come back here later. But that's how you get into this area. But we're not done just yet. If you call now, in the next ten minutes, because we can't do this all day. Let's go ahead and power bomb again, and we're not even done. Like, this is where cleanup gets a little finicky. But yeah, we need gravity suit to do that. There's technically invisible platforms in there. You could see them with the x-ray scope. We just can't get up there unless you do some hinky shit. I'm sure you can do it in a speed run, but I'm not that good. But of course, we're not done yet. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. We're not done with this area. We have a lot of extra goodies we can get in here if we really want to. So... Since this was the first Metroid, you know, originally, I guess, what if we went back to where Mother Brain was at? Hmm. This looks fine. Better power bomb it, though, just to be safe. <sighs> Obviously, you'd look in the boss area, you fucking numbskull. Duh. So, there's that. Now... Oh, we're not done just yet. There's more shit we can get. Now, remember how I bumped this thing earlier? Would that make you question if there's a... 
secret area in here that also requires two power bombs to get into. Obviously. Now, this is entirely optional. I'm gonna try and do it early, though. This is tough. I gotta be careful. Oh shit, that might be too late. Yep! Ah, oh, bitch. Okay. Damn it. I'll I'll reset the room, that's fine. So you're supposed to come in here with plasma beam, and this makes this a hell of a lot easier. But I'm not doing that, so. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, that's too late. I just want to make sure they're frozen, trust me. Obviously, duh, that's how you get super missiles, you dumb dumb. <laughs> I love Metroid, but there's some serious shit you'd have to really be out of your fucking mind to think of to do. After a while, it just starts to feel like you're just banging your skull into the wall. I kind of like that, but like, I'm not gonna say everybody would think of doing that. So, we'll go ahead and get the hell out of here. But, we're gonna go back to Brinstar the way we came, so. And then we're gonna get a couple more goodies, and I guess I'll make a break, and then we'll do Wreck Ship, and then the start of Meridia. And we're almost done with the game, technically, but this is all optional shit you don't have to do. So. This is why I said we're not doing a speed run because I wanted to make sure that people saw how to get every single item in the game and at least ways to get them earlier. That way it could help uh, learn how to speed run the game or get interested in it, honestly. It's a really, really fun game to speed run. It's not my favorite, but it's pretty high up there. My favorite's actually Quake, uh, the first one. That's my favorite game to speed run. It's also the one I have the best um, time in, period. I think it's like, tw actually, hang on, while I... No, well, I'll look at it later. It's like 20-something. I have a very low clear time in Quake. It's actually, like I said, the game I'm the best at speedrunning. Because I've played it a shitload. Um, but Zero Mission comes pretty high up there. But there's another item we can get if we want to go through here. Now... Don't worry, I have this area marked off on my map that says Gravity Suit, um, because we need to come back here later. Um, that's the only thing I don't like is Zero Mission. Actually, Fusion is the most streamlined, yes, but it's also the most streamlined in terms of item completion. So that game's actually very, very good about it, where everything's pretty much laid out in a very practical way. So did I go the right way? No, I did not. Uh, that's right, we need to be in the, uh, the pink area. You see, that's why I really love Metroid, because items are great and all, and you should know where they're at, but, like, the nice thing is, once you figured out, like, color coding and stuff, people say they get lost in Metroid, and I get that. By the way, you need to have Wave Beam to do that. Um, this is also why I'm not a speedrunning right now. I'm not a speedrunning? Jesus Christ. Um, but like, this is also why I said I'm not doing that, because it's... I have to like, be focused 100% to do things like this. Um, but... No, I don't know, I forgot what I was saying earlier. Oh yeah, color coding. Environments are so well designed that as long as you have a general idea of what the area looks like, you should be fine. Um... Ugh! Why am I worried about it? They don't do any damage. Um... I'm making fake drama, I'm sorry. This is also another way to get an early energy tank with power bombs. Oh, hell. Oh, look, it's a little family! And now they're dead. Um, we can do this early, technically, so shoot that doodad. Pfft, fuck the grapple beam, it's awful. I hate the grapple beam. <laughs> uh, and we can get an easy energy tank, baby. Now I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I'm, I'm like 98% certain. Yeah, this is pretty much all the items we can get till clean up later. So, that's cool. I'll go back to the ship and uh, we'll make a save there and call it an episode. And then we'll do, I, I lied man, I'm sorry. We'll do wreck ship in the next one. Um, but yeah, all this shit I'm getting right now 
I wouldn't be getting this in a speed run. I'd be doing pretty much everything but this. So I guess it also shows off um, that you can go back here and oh fuck me. <sighs> I fell for it, man. I I love you too, Runny, but I gotta get out of here. My people need me. Um, yeah, you can't just uh, break those with like a shot. You need to use a speed booster to get through it. So, but yeah, you can see what I mean though. When you know where everything's at, it's a lot easier and fucking hell, I did not mean to go through that. Um, a lot of Super Metroid is very well designed because it's based on color and music. If you can tell what area you're in because of the music, that helps a lot. Um, also, you'll notice Brinstar is broken up into different sections of color, so that's another good way of looking at it if you're ever curious. But as far as difficulty for 100% completion goes, I would probably say this is the second hardest. Fusion is probably the hardest. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. That was awful. I'm sorry. That was like... I had like a proto burp and like gagged up some stomach acid. Oh Jesus. Um, <coughs> basically... Uh, you totally needed to know that. I think Fusion's probably the hardest. Actually, no Zero Mission, because there's some pretty nasty shit you gotta learn how to do in that game. Um, that game requires you to learn how to do the uh, Shine Spark Morph Ball moves. God damn, some of those are ridiculous. There's some in like... Um... Oh, there's one where you gotta like fucking... It's in Norfair. No, sorry, it's in Brinstar, and it's just fucking insane. That one is just... Ugh. I don't like it. Also, there's a power bomb up here, but I I'm not good at doing it. You might be like, "Oh, that looks easy." No, I usually get that with space jump. So, <coughs> also notice the rain's cleared up too. So, we'll go ahead and save the game, and I'll see you guys in the next one.